Dear Mrs. Scherer, Mr. Westermann Lammers, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schleswig-Holstein, welcome to Lübeck, and welcome to this conference. It's a great pleasure to open this conference and to welcome you, guests from all over the Baltic Sea region. Like no other city in Schleswig-Holstein, Lübeck is a symbol for Baltic Sea cooperation, the queen of the Hanseatic League, as we like to say. Excellent conditions for a successful conference. Dear guests, all of you engage in Baltic Sea cooperation. All of you contribute to regional cohesion, better understanding and peaceful and prosperous coexistence in our region. Thank you so much for that. Transnational cooperation is a vitally important part of the European cohesion policy. The Interreg programs generate a visible European added value. Regions working together across borders for the benefit of the regions. That's what people understand. That makes European cooperation tangible. I'm very pleased to say that partners from Schleswig-Holstein are very much engaged in transnational cooperation. This allows us to contribute our expertise. For example, in the fields of blue growth or life science. At the same time, it enables us to benefit from the know-how of our countries and your countries. It is from Estonia in the field of digitalization, be it from Finland in the field of education, or be it from Poland with regards to the preservation of cultural heritage. Cooperation increases the knowledge of all partners involved cooperation. Involved cooperation promotes the development of cutting edge technologies. Ultimately, cooperation enhances prosperity and competitiveness in the whole region. From my point of view, ladies and gentlemen, the current Interreg Baltic Sea Region program, with its well over 100 projects, is indispensable for the growth goals of Europe 2020. The overall objective of the EU, EU, EU otherwise cohesion policy. And the Interreg program of the Baltic Sea region has another important political task, the cooperation with Russia. Despite all political difficult difficulties on the national and supranational level, the EU regions, Russia and Norway, work together under, under the Interreg umbrella towards a better mutual understanding. I think that all these aspects from an excellent basis to talk about achievements. And although you are here to talk about past achievements, I'm sure you will also consider the future of the Baltic Sea Region Program. So please allow me some comments and proposals. There are two main instruments of European politics in support to support cooperation in the Baltic Sea region. The Interreg Baltic Sea region program and the EU strategy for the Baltic Sea region. Two instruments with one objective, fostering cooperation in fields where a tangible added value can be expected through transnational cooperation. To strengthen regional cohesion in the Baltic Sea region. What could be more reasonably for coordinating the program and strategy? We are currently facing a unique situation, the programming on the next Interreg program and the revision of the action plan of the Baltic Sea strategy have started. What an opportunity. It is it is pretty obvious that the Interreg Baltic Sea Region program cannot provide funding all the projects and policy 
areas to the strategy, of the strategy. Very clearly, this cannot be the goal. But program authorities and strategy authorities could agree on common strategic goals. And on mutual supports to the mutual benefit. What might, might this mean? I could mean to agree upon common overarching objectives, which would send out an important political signal and would bring more emphasis and visibility onto both program and strategy. Under the umbrella of jointly defined main objectives, program and strategy authorities would remain free to define their own thematic priorities. Furthermore, the program can support in a targeted way projects and policies, policy areas to the strategy which only have poor funding opportunity outside of Interreg. This would enhance the profile of the program and would underline its spe specific focus on the Baltic Sea region. And it could also help the strategy to overcome one of its main obstac obstacles. A win-win situation for both sides and a clear benefit for Baltic Sea politics. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to finish my speech with some general comments. Today's political, political situation is fundamentally different from what it was seven years ago. When we discussed the objectives of the program, seven years ago, the overarching objective of European politics was the creation of more growth and more jobs. Of course, still relevant today, but the world has changed. Today, we are confronted with a frightening rise of nationalism, accompanied by a growing public acceptance for populist and Eurosceptic politics. I'm shocked to see fundamental European values under increasing pressure. Only seven years ago, the European idea is running the risk of losing its citizens. So, what could this mean for the Interreg programs? Transnational cooperation in itself is an instrument for bringing Europe closer to its citizens. But we need to do more. Projects to strengthen, strengthen intercultural exchange, tolerance, and democracy. Projects promoting European values and our common cultural roots. For example, by highlighting, by highlighting the Baltic Sea region's cultural heritage. Personally, I would absolutely welcome it if the interact programs were to put a stronger focus on social and cultural cohesion. We have to win the people back for the European project. Without that, we can forget about successful European and regional integration. The Interreg Baltic Sea program, ladies and gentlemen, offers huge opportunities to win the hearts and the minds of the people who live in our region. We cannot afford to squander these opportunities. Thank you very much. <laughs>